In this lecture, we examine what restrictions are needed to differentiate or resolve two cosine functions in a single DFT. On this graph, we show the main lobes of one cosine function centered at omega 0 and one cosine function centered at omega 1. When these main lobes are far apart, we can easily tell that there are two cosines. If these cosines are too close in frequency, their main lobes will overlap significantly. Since the DFT will add these main lobes together, we will not be able to distinguish the two cosines from each other if their frequencies are too similar. The ability to distinguish the DFT peaks of two cosines is called the resolution of the system. If we want to ensure that we can resolve the two cosine peaks, we could require that the two main lobes do not overlap at all. This requirement would dictate that our window size times our sampling frequency must be greater than a scaled distance between the two frequencies. Typically, we can allow the two peaks to overlap for half of their width, so we divide the 4 pi scaling factor by 2. There are two other problems that we encounter when we try to resolve cosines. First, if the two co cosines have similar frequencies, but one cosine has significantly smaller amplitude, then the smaller cosine will be buried in the side lobes of the cosine with larger amplitude. Second, all systems have noise. This noise can bury the peaks and make it hard to resolve two cosines. Noise decreases resolution, much like how being in a noisy room makes it hard for you to hear what someone is saying. 